Hello everyone. How are you doing guys? Ladies. Uh, it's Irai and uh, I would like to give some stitching updates uh, about the project uh, that I'm making now together with my journaling things. I, uh, I should say, uh, I should explain some stuff about stitching to which I switched recently. Well, a year ago, I must say, a year and a half ago. And I started to do stitching more than journaling. It's easy to explain. First of all, it's more soothing and it's more pacifying. It's just personal things. But I must say that uh, this last uh, year and a half, um, this period has been pretty busy for me with my three jobs. I'm actually doing three jobs at a time. I'm working in the office, uh, uh, working as a private entrepreneur, a self-employed person, and uh, uh, crafting. Crafting is uh, just one of, this is my third occupation. It doesn't give me big income, but from time to time I manage, uh, thanks to my uh, customer friends, I still manage to keep up this uh, this base this part too and stitching is easier in this case when you are very busy because you know you take this uh, canvas or something and just stitch a piece at a time and it's like you don't need any uh, big tables or special equipment you just need a needle thread and some some fabric or something uh, that's why I can do it in the in between all my rest, all my main activities, and it's uh, just less time taken in this respect. But I still uh, do journaling, but my journaling projects, they usually involve big uh, stretch of uninterrupted time when I have to like start uh, arrange everything uh, you you might I, I think all of you know it you arrange everything around like all the table surfaces with pieces and bits and glues and things and then you just dive into this amazing process and uh, sometimes uh, when some time ago I could um, allow myself to take a day off or something to just uh, give uh, give myself completely to the project because sometimes it takes a day or two just to make a couple of uh, pages even uh, coming all together if you want them to have uh, to present a bigger concept they should should be somehow um, connected with the ideas that's why those projects go uh, slower, more slowly, I must say. But today, uh, yes, was a little bit of explanation because I know many of uh, subscribers are here just because of my journaling things. So I promise I will post journals, uh, flip throughs and some tutorials of how to process videos uh, just for you to enjoy and benefit from as well. But I also will continue doing some fabric things and also will make videos about them as well. So that's my new project. This is the hugest one. I have never ever done such a big one. I plan it to be another wall hanging or it's more of a even like a rug or carpet or something. But uh, that's the top. It's just in the middle. It's just in the middle. It's like multi-layered with different pieces and bits. This central piece uh, took a long, but there were a few mistakes learned from from making it. I cannot definitely show you the whole piece and the screen because it's just impossible. There will be many more details added. Just just want to show it's. A different technique I'm using different approach here now now like I will still add different decorative stitches and materials and imitations but for now the beginning is different I have never done this beginning before with different you know you see stuff which is placed pretty randomly and let me show uh, this is kind of a lace that I 
dyed and uh, used here to create texture and I like this approach very much so I will have to find a better uh, dyeing medium because uh, just to get uh, different effects not only on 100% natural uh, fabrics and lace like cotton but also on uh, some mixed uh, fabric with some synthetic inside because it doesn't uh, it doesn't stay so and I also will use some <laughs> some rope uh, I made it with different you know um, strips of fabric not only fabric some other textures it's pretty long and I'm gonna use it again or as well here so this rack will not be that neat if I call if you can <laughs> call any of my creations neat as the previous ones I think it will be more raggedy like and uh, one more acquisition I want to show you I recently visited big city for some other reasons and I couldn't help getting into the craft store store and uh, this is what I found I believe it's going to be a great addition I don't know I just I don't know yet whether I will use it or not definitely <laughs> but I hope I think I will and um, I think I, I, I need to sit and think how to use it, not just plainly stitching to the pieces, although it also will be nice, but maybe I can create different, you know, textures, patterns, uh, focal pieces. I think in it is, it's just uh, a, a cool find and treasure. Uh, I also bought lots of sorry pieces of material and things and uh, threads and um, because it's like uh, I go to this store maybe twice a year and so when I get there I can't avoid buying something new although I have plenty of material so far and uh, enough forever so it's just it was just kind of, you know, indulgence. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, I will probably show pieces of this project here and there because I don't know where it will take me and uh, how it will evolve. No ideas and uh, we'll see it later. This piece works for itself. It just uses my hands as tools and uh, I, I don't. I have nothing to do with this piece, just my my hands and my mind sometimes gets some proper information which is then represented in the piece. But I feel it's not me, I, I'm not creating this, uh, generating this, it's turning out somehow itself. I wonder if you have any, if, if, if you have feelings like that when you are working on some project. There are such projects, not always, no, but there are such projects that create themselves using us as just a simple mechanism or something. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you still enjoy my fabric art as well, if you can, can call it art, uh, textile processes as well. Maybe you'll get some inspiration. I wonder if you were interested in some process videos because as there are many journal making videos, uh, so there are so many fabric art videos, but in fact uh, uh, much fewer than that. And I'm not sure if you would be interested to, if you are interested to see any of the ideas and pieces used here. Thank you so much. Have a great week and see you. Bye bye. Oh no, weekend. Or oh, maybe week. I'm not sure when I will upload it. Sorry. So see you. Bye bye.